Welcome back to Print 40K. Welcome to our little Kit Bash tutorial. What we are going to do today is we take something and make something out, uh, other out of it. So what we are starting with is this model of a Mustang um, made by uh, Sergei. And, or I think I have a little earlier version of that. And then we uh, take uh, this Sentinel, but the Sentinel is not on uh, Thingiverse anymore, but uh, credits go to Andrew. So those two things are quite different. And yeah, there, there is a rim that I had lying around. I have absolutely no idea where it came from. But yeah, they, those are the parts that we are working with today. So what we are going to do is we, we take this Mustang and make a 40k Mustang out of that. So And what we are do, going to do with that um, is first of all we make it a little bit more beefy because the Mustang looks way too sleek and so on. So what we are going to do is we duplicate uh, this model with uh, Control D. Did it? And what we are going to do now is we align it again uh, onto each other so it stands above each else and then we move it a little bit up. So. What we did now is we made it beefier, but the problem is I do not want to have two bumpers there, so uh, we're going to delete that. What we're going to do is we take one of this, uh, these quarters out here, and uh, then we reduce it in height until, let's say here, this looks good, so that uh, those lights are still there. And then with shift, we select the upper part of the Mustang, and then we combine it with this button over there. So what is ha happen right now is we cut down these parts over here. And yeah, a, a little word uh, to my not sponsor, we uh, work with uh, Tinkercad. Why with Tinkercad? Because it's free. And uh, that's pretty much the only reason. Um, it is available for pretty much everyone and it is quite easy. So it's cheap and it is easy. So what happened now is we now have something like a, a little bit um, a bigger uh, Mustang or uh, we doubled the Mustang up. Uh, the problem here that you can see is this this, look, this sucks. It, it does not look good. So uh, what we do is we reduce this thing in height. We press uh, Control and Shift and then we reduce it a little bit. And then we have of course to align it again. So it is in the middle. And uh, then we have to make a choice. Do we want uh, this part over there to, to fit perfectly or do we shift it up and down? Oh, you, can, you can experiment with that uh, and, and try. You can stretch it, of course. You can do something like that. But um, yeah, you have to, to make some, some funny choices uh, to, to do that. Um, when you do that, you might uh, have the problem, you see it's, it snaps, uh, not, not without, um, um, there, there, is a, there is a raster to it, you can change that, you can completely deactivate it and, and then it flows completely freely, uh, or you, um, you work with, with some raster in, in some way. Um, often for, for those stuff it, it makes more sense um, to, to work completely freely. So um, I'm happy with the lights, but I'm, ha I'm not really happy with, um, with the front over there. So what we are going to do here is we duplicate it again, and then we cut everything away from, uh, from this car, expect for the ver very furthest part. So I only want this, and combine it. And then I want to cut away the lights. would look something like that. And then we cut away the fender because we don't need the fender over here. So that. Okay, looks good. And we combine it. Then we take the whole thing. Change the color so we can see what, what happened. Mm, make it brown. Move it in there. Okay, is this a clever decision? I'm I'm not sure. So uh, the thing is, uh, what I'm going to do here right now is um uh, I I never tried this before. Um, so I really this is my first time to to try to to build this thing. So 
um, you will see all my mistakes, but I think that's the best way of learning everything is to, to observe mistakes. So let's say we are happy with that, if we are happy or not, we can decide uh, later on. But let's combine all these three things. And when we have combined all these three things, um, we, we will see some of the, the errors that might occur. Uh, what we are going to do now is we take uh, this part over here. We duplicate it because we might want to have something uh, different from this part, like um, the exhaust or something like that. And then we um, we take only this part. Yeah, looks good. And combine it. And then we decide that we want to um, no. Let, first of all. We duplicate this again and then we invert it. For inversion, um, you take just the inverted part and take another color and move it over here. And now, uh, the wonderful thing with this technique is um, you you have you have not to uh, to ask yourself what to do with the with the um, with the limits between the two files because they fit. They are the same file. You just inverted one and onto the other. And if you want to have, let's say, you say, okay, I want to have this very short because I like it that way. And uh, but now I want to to extend it and want this middle part is no no problem whatsoever because you just take this part, move it also over there, change the color so we we see what we're doing, and then you subtract just again let's say only this part or well, let's say we sub, uh, subtract everything uh, except of this part and what we are then have is a part that fits perfectly in the middle just like this yeah I actually might like that yeah looks funny um, let's combine it for the moment and then we will see we have the problem that if we want to fit all this uh, the, the, this whole thing onto uh, this car there is something in the way <laughs> and this is um, well the, the original uh, part where, where passengers uh, were seated so what we are going to do is we have to subtract this as well and how we're doing is, is we uh, increase here the radius uh, so we get a, a real smooth cut. Um, for that we again align it, move it a little bit down here and subtract that. So we can make it a little more, let's, let's say 40k um, next step is we are going to decide if we want it very narrow or very broad. I would say broad is better, so we broaden up the whole thing. So, yeah, looks nice. And we want to increase it in height, perhaps to more or less the original height. You see, I, I work um, even before this this thing um, ended these calculations because, well, uh, I'm I'm quite impatient in, in these regards. So, <laughs> okay, this looks silly. Um, yeah, let's increase it in height a bit so that we and uh, here. Yeah, I mean this looks like this. This looks 40k. I, I mean, yeah. Oh, well, for my taste, it is close enough to to this 40k feeling. So, what what might this car be? Perhaps something of the uh, the, the personal car of the governor, or something like that, of, of some imperial colony, or I don't know, some gang boss. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Let's see if it's still aligned because we we push it around a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looks good. Okay. Uh, what to do with the exhaust? Uh, 40k has this uh, has a, a, a certain love for for big exhausts. Perhaps the designers have to compensate for something. I don't know. But um, we we have this big exhaust in the 40k universe, and to to really have this feeling well. 
you have to do this. And uh, then we take just this back again. Control set. Um, we can work with that. Um, this looks um, a, a bit like like uh, what machinery looks in 40k. So let's let's use it. It's already there, so why not? Push this thing in the middle. Ah, yeah, yeah, of course. Um, if you want, if you have two things that are all aligned and you want to align with that, you select it with with shift. And then you go on a line, click again on the thing that should not move, and then yeah, only this this one thing moves. So um, we push it up. Yeah, I like that. And then we put this really big exhaust over there. Again, we align it with that. Click it again. Align it, move it down, turn it a bit, a little bit out, I would say. Yeah, it's nice. Is this thing in the middle? Is this thing in the middle? Let's try again. Well, it should be. And this is also in the middle. It doesn't look like it, isn't it? But yeah, it is what it is. But we don't we don't have to. We can perfectly well uh, put this thing a little bit eccentric. Yeah, why not? Let's look. At this. Let's let's do it this way. Yeah, I like this even more. I like this even more. A little bit deeper. Perfect. Okay. Let's combine all of these things. So, next thing. What uh, the next thing is, we have to have wheels on this thing. So, I took one of my old bit wheels that I use uh, quite commonly, and um, I think let's duplicate it. Yeah, uh, it, it looks. This looks not not really 40k. First of all, it needs to broaden up. Yeah, now we're talking, and it has to be a little bit bigger. Yes, 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 yes. Here we are. So, um, but uh, to to print this thing, well, okay, yeah, it's a little bit too much. Um, to print these things, um, we have to separate the the uh, the model from the wheels. Uh, it doesn't work well otherwise. So what we have to do is we measure this thing in height. It's about 18. So let's take a circle of 20, align it, increase the sides, make it transparent so we have we, we see a little bit better what we are doing, and we uh, subtract until there. Uh, and do absolutely the same thing on the other side. Yeah, 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 looks good. So, what we are doing now is uh, we make a body uh, out of that. Combine it. And then align this thing to uh, the car. And what we are doing now is we make again, uh, put it away. Yeah, of of course. Next question is: Do we have to have four wheels, or can we? Or do we want to have more? I think it would look nice if if this thing has has more wheels. Say six. Uh, this could look funny. Let's try this. Combine all the things, except for uh, the wheel, of course. And what we then do with the wheel is we take uh, this rim rim over here, take this wheel, take this rim, turn it. Where is it? Here. Make it smaller, of course. Align it. So 
So the rim is not on this, not where it should be. Uh, this looks better. Uh, it's a bit, a bit too big. No problem. Align it again. So it's aligned. Looks well. Looks at least better than it used to. We combine it. And then we will fit a cylinder over here, align it to improve printing. So, okay, looks fine. And what we do, of course, is uh, we cut away this blue part over here. So combine these three things and how deep does it go? About here. That looks fine. And then we duplicate it. Ctrl D. Duplicate again. And this is our 40k limousine thingy uh, thing. So what you can do is you can uh, put a lot of additional bits and pieces onto it to make it look even cooler. But um, that's about it. That's the whole thing. Uh, that's the whole process you have to go through. Um, what you then have to do is, of course, um, you have to optimize it for printing. Uh, and this is the last step. Um, so we we give the uh, the wheels away, move these bits away, make one uh, giant part over there, and then we have to to uh, make the choice where to separate the parts. So let's say I want to separate them some somewhere there, somewhere next to the fender a little bit. Let's do it a little bit up there. Yeah. This this might be okay. And then you duplicate uh, the whole thing, go below it, and move it up. And what you have to do then is you duplicate all these three parts. Control D. At the one you uh, you um, delete the upper part. Move the other one. You delete the lower part. So what you are left with then uh, is in the end these three parts. Then um, you just move it in the right direction. And that's about it. And this is everything that you needed to know. So hope this little tutorial helped you a little bit. And remember to build your future.